G'day guys, welcome back to the True Football YouTube channel and today I'm going to be doing a kind of half a ladder predictor. I'm going to be doing the ladder predictor on squiggle.com or predictor.squiggle.com.au. I can leave the link in the description if you like and I'm going to be predicting the first five rounds or well, rounds two to five of the AFL 2020 season. Of course, that is the only fixtures that we have out so far. So uh, Squiggle has been quick on the ball they've pretty much already got those first five rounds out that you can you can already sort of do predictions for it looks like you can go up all the way to round 17 so they must have filtered in their own kind of fixtures uh, so in today's video I'm just going to be doing rounds two to five and having a little bit of a snapshot at where I think the ladder will be after those rounds needless to say it does feel so good to have footy back so uh, there's even more to talk about on the channel even though my beloved Eagles going to be setting up in a hub in Queensland and playing a home game against Richmond up there and obviously you know some of the other non-Victorian clubs are going to be doing the same it's going to be weird um, but let's have a look at what the ladder might look like after hopefully that hub has come to a finish Let's see if WA relax their border controls in the next, you know, six or seven weeks Who knows? But in this video guys, I'm gonna be just using the squiggle ladder predictor Predicting result of the game without doing too much analysis for you You can just follow along with me and we'll have a look at what the ladder will look like at the end of that period So let's get into it Collingwood hosting Richmond at the MCG, I think I've already done my round one predictions video, so I will keep it true to that. I think I said Collingwood by 18 points. Geelong hosting Hawthorne at Cardinia. I said Geelong would win that by seven points. I'm going off memory here. Brisbane hosting Fremantle at the Gabba. I think I said Brisbane by 28. Carlton hosting Melbourne. I went for an upset here because I think Melbourne are better, but I've tipped Carlton to win this by something like 10 points. Gold Coast and West Coast at Metricon. Uh, I tip my boys by 44 points. Port Adelaide versus Adelaide. The power will be too good by 28. GWS hosting North Melbourne. This was my biggest blowout of round one predictions. I've got them winning by 47. I've got Essendon breaking a 11-year drought at the SCG to win by five points. And St. Kilda versus the Bulldogs. This was a toughie considering how poor form the Bulldogs are in at the, well, <laughs> after one round, really. Um, but I think they'll get the chocolates by 17 points. So that is the ladder after round two. You've still got five the undefeated team, Port, West Coast, Collingwood, GWS, and Essendon. Um, Port Adelaide still enjoying top spot with a win over the Crows. Um, and the, un well, the winless teams are St. Kilda, Adelaide, Fremantle, Melbourne, and Gold Coast. So... Let's get into round three. This will be a blockbuster game. Richmond hosting Hawthorne at the MCG. I do rate Hawthorne this year. But I do think Richmond's just a better side. I would love Hawthorne to win, but I'm going to say Richmond win a fairly close game. Oh, the Bulldogs versus GWS at Marvel Stadium. What are we thinking about the Bulldogs this year? Do we rate them? I think we definitely have to rate their talent. But I've just lost confidence after that pathetic round one. GWS go a right at Marvel. I'm going to say GWS have a win. I'm going to say they win this by 14 points. North hosting Sydney. I think North will be good at, too good at home, rather, even though Sydney is a quality side at home and away. I'll say they win this by 10 points. Collingwood should touch up St. Kilda fairly easily. I'm going to, I'm going to go 38 points. Brisbane hosting West Coast at the Gabba. I don't think the Eagles travel well to the Gabba, even though... We're not really traveling that far in this instance, just going from Metricon. Brisbane Lions are a good side. I'm going to say they win this by 17 points. Geelong hosting Carlton at Cardinia. They don't play at Cardinia too often. I think they've played there once recently, unless I'm getting confused, and Geelong spanked them. I do think Geelong is just too good a side. They're going to win this by 35 points. Gold Coast versus Adelaide at Carrara. So this is... A rare opportunity for the Gold Coast to register an early win. You, you need to give the Gold Coast wins somewhere. If they're going to do it, they're going to do it early. But I don't want to shit on Adelaide too much because I don't think Adelaide is that bad. I just think they'll probably be rebuilding this year. Uh, oh, I'll hedge my bet. I'll, go, I'll just say Adelaide by eight points. That's a bit of a cop-out one. Essendon hosting Melbourne at the G. Essendon probably my... I just think Essendon are in a reasonable shape this year. Depends on like their mental state because or well, both sides of these are mental question marks about whether they're gonna be, you know, switched on. There's always that question. But I think I think Essendon are a better side, so let's just call it an Essendon win. 
Fremantle hosting Port at Metricon. Um, it's a fairly neutral game. So I'm going to say Port Adelaide are the better side. And they'll get this job done by 19 points. Sydney versus the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs have got one and two at the moment at the SCG. <sighs> Am I going to tip the dogs for a horror start to the year? I'm tempted to go Sydney. Um, I do think the Bulldogs are a better side, but I just think the SCG is a tough ground to play at for travelling sides. I'm going to say Sydney win by 17. Oh, here's an absolute blockbuster for you. GWS hosting Collingwood. Another potential grand final preview as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it's at it's at um, Giant Stadium. Oh, I think I'll have to tip the home side here and just go conservative. Port Adelaide versus West Coast at what will be a neutral ground. Both of these sides playing home games here, sort of. Um, or neutral games, anyway. I think the Eagles. I'll just tip the. I think the Eagles are the better side, so I'll tip the Eagles to give Port Adelaide their first loss of the year uh, in a close game by 11 points. I'm probably tipping the margins too close here. St Kilda versus Richmond at Marvel. Richmond will win that, 26 points. Essendon hosting Carlton at the G. I'm going to have to tip Carlton, even though. Yeah, Carlton are a plucky side, particularly against Essendon. But yeah, I just think Essendon are better. Gold Coast versus Fremantle at Metricon. Ooh, this is tempting. Gold Coast first win. Nah, I do think Fremantle will be too good. Uh, they'll win this by 23 points. Brisbane hosting Adelaide at the Gabba. I think they had a real thriller last year. I think it went to one point in the end, but I think Brisbane uh, will win fairly easily this time. Melbourne versus Geelong at the G. Going to have to go with Geelong. They've kind of got the wood over Melbourne, fair to say. 24 points. Hawthorne versus North Melbourne at Marvel. At Marvel. If this was at the MCG, I would say clearly Hawthorne. And I think Hawthorne are the better side. But is there a chance for an upset here? North Melbourne are 2-1. and one. That's actually a pretty good start I've given them. And Hawthorne are uh, 1-2. and two. Yeah, that, I think Hawthorne will be motivated at this point to... Oh, I'll give them... I, I think they'll win by five goals, actually. They're probably five goals better. West Coast versus Richmond at Metricon. Okay, so West Coast at this point have played two home games uh, at Metricon. or sorry, two games in three weeks at Metricon. They haven't left the state yet, and Richmond are traveling. I don't really know who plays better at Metricon off the top of my head. I'm going to tip the Eagles here because they're kind of the home team. I think by then we'll have built a familiarity with them. Uh, if it was the GR tip Richmond, but I think the Eagles will have a slight edge in this game, actually. Uh, it's going to be a thriller. I'll tip them by 17 points. Collingwood hosting Essendon. I think Collingwood will be too good by 20 points. Carlton versus St. Kilda. Okay. This is an important game for both sides. Both sides want to prove themselves. To rise up the ladder, you got Carlton at 1-3. and three. you got St. Kilda at 0-4. and four. This is at the MCG. I think that plays into Carlton's hands. Am I going to make St. Kilda go 0-5? I don't think St. Kilda is as bad as an 0-5 side. That's the thing. But I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh, God. I have so many people who already think I hate St. Kilda. I really don't. I do think they have a better list than Carlton, but this is at the G. Um... Nah, screw it. I'm going to tip the Saints in an upset to win by two points. I do think they're a better side. So, yeah. That will get the haters off my back. Uh, Geelong hosting Gold Coast at GMHBA Stadium. That is a fairly simple one, I would have thought. Will they win by 55 points? Yes, they will. I've got to be careful we don't go too far past round five at this stage. Uh, the Bulldogs versus North Melbourne. Um, now, nah, the Bulldogs have had a poor start to the year, but this is where... They'll lift themselves to win by 16 points. Brisbane Lions hosting Port at the Gabba. Of course, Brisbane's uh, Port's not travelling, but the Lions are a better side. So 22 points. Adelaide versus Fremantle at Metricon. Oh, this is actually a genuine toughie. I've got two winless sides, Melbourne and Gold Coast. Uh, Fremantle are 1-3. Adelaide are 1-3. I think uh, I think Fremantle has a better, a better list. And it's a fairly neutral game. So I'm just going to tip with my head and say Fremantle win by 25 points. 
Sydney versus Melbourne at the SCG. I've got a winless Melbourne with their backs against the wall against a Sydney side that I tipped bottom four at the start of the year, sitting at two and two. <sighs> Wasn't it last year, I think Melbourne had their first win against Sydney at the SCG. Can they repeat the heroics of that? I will tip the Ds here. I'll tip them by nine points. GWS versus Hawthorne in Sydney. Now, Hawthorne just slaughtered them at, uh, at, Car- at uh, Canberra last year. This is at Giant Stadium. Oh, this would be a good game, I reckon. Um, I think the Giants are slightly too strong. But that has upset potential. Okay, so that I think that might be the end of the round. Yes, everyone's played five games now because it's coming up with Brisbane Lions versus Carlton at Wellington in round 99. So let's just have a look at the ladder here with a bit of a focus. So I've got GWS undefeated after five rounds, um, which surprises me a little bit. I don't think I, I don't necessarily rate them as the far and away the best team, but um, I've gone that way. They've got some. They've had some home games against like Collingwood and Hawthorne to date and Geelong and won them all. So that's a very good start for them. Collingwood and Geelong and West Coast make up the rest of the top four. Uh, Collingwood, the second best side. Looking at their percentage, I've given them the best percentage. Uh, it helps that they won round one by 52 points. Making up the rest of the top eight, we've got Brisbane, Essendon, Port Adelaide, and Richmond. Port Adelaide kind of had a little bit of a favorable draw there. I mean, they've traveled to Queensland, so that makes sense. Um, and Essendon, the maybe the side that surprises me the most out of that top eight, just because... Um, they, they're a big question mark. I don't know if I really trust them to go four and one, but on the, uh, in the games in isolation, I've, I've tipped them obviously four times out of five. Hawthorne probably deserve to be higher than ninth. I think they'll, I think they're a top six team in quality, but maybe they've just had a bit of a tough fixture so far. They've played Richmond and, uh, and GWS off the top of my head and Geelong in that, in those, uh, three of those four games I tipped. Sydney's higher than I expected. Fremantle, the Bulldogs, and North Melbourne probably around the mark. Carlton, Melbourne, Adelaide, St Kilda, and Gold Coast make up the rest of the the, uh, the list there. Out of all those, I think the Bulldogs will finish higher than that, uh, and I think St Kilda will finish higher than bottom two. Um, uh, yeah, again, I can feel <laughs> the comments coming already. I do think they'll finish outside of the bottom four for sure, but I think maybe just a tough fixture to start the year. I think they've played Collingwood. Um, and Richmond, and they've already lost to North Melbourne as well. So, there you have it, guys. That is my predicted round five. That is, you know, not necessarily need to be taken so seriously. It's just a bit of fun. Um, I love ladder prediction videos and uh, and doing ladder prediction, you know, just in the browser without being filmed as well. So, um, yeah, it's a bit of fun. Let me know what you thought of my predictions. Um, I'm sure I will hear about the ones you think I got wrong, So, um, but that's all right. Bring it on. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning into this video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel, like the video. I would really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.